tying teacher salaries to student performances. Let's go over to the Senate, though, where Hoon Young Hopgood, the Democrat from the Downriver area, is on the other end of our AT&T line right now. Welcome back to the program. Good morning. What's wrong with uh, tying uh, student performance to teacher salaries? Uh, if, you know, I think there's um, a lot of questions involved in uh, looking at uh, a system like that. So um, I think, um, you know, it, it might create um, some disincentives uh, for um, people in, um, say, a building to, to work together and try to figure out, um, you know, what are the best solutions for um, all the kids. Um, I think that, um, you know, there, there's different ways of doing this. Um, you, you could, I've heard it mentioned that you could set a goal for the entire building and you could actually then uh, create a, a positive incentive for people to work together and to uh, share best practices and all those sorts of things. So, um, you know, I think that there, there, you know, there may be better ways to do this. And, and um, um, you know, first of all, I mean, research suggests that it doesn't do a whole lot uh, to raise student achievement. And, and so, you know, it may sound like a good concept, uh, but all too often, you know, we, we think about these good ideas and concepts and then implementation uh, becomes kind of a nightmare. And we see that all across government. Um, so it sounds like a good concept, I think, but why don't we uh, make sure that we're listening to and taking in the best research when making these decisions? And, um, you know, the governor talks a lot about that, um, but, um, you know, when it's convenient, that, that kind of gets pushed aside. 